tell me what's going on out here today. What's going on out here today is that we are working to complete one of Miss Gracie Floyd's legacy projects. And that is the cleanup of the old Toxaway and Riverside Mill sites. This work began back in 2009 originally. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we've been cleaning up in stages over the past several years as funding has become available. What kind of stuff are we cleaning up out here? What we have here are the remains of old mill buildings. And uh, what this site qualifies is is a, is a brownfield site because there was uh, asbestos, asbestos containing materials uh, in all the piles of debris out here along with lead and other materials like that. So uh, it wasn't the kind of thing where we could just send some guys out here with a you know, with a bulldozer and haul it away somewhere. We have to take special preventative measures whenever we're dealing with this hazardous waste. That's why in the background behind me you can see an area cordoned off with white uh, rope. Um, and also within that area we have a man who's doing asbestos air monitoring to ensure that uh, asbestos isn't being released into the atmosphere at a level that will be uh, harmful to the workers or to the community. And you mentioned Brownfield. Talk about how this is being paid for. Brownfield uh, sites are recognized uh, by the federal government and have been for several years as being uh, uh, a direct threat to the public health, safety, and welfare. And those are really the primary functions of government. So the federal government has been generous in um, uh, providing funding for various programs that help us assess the kind of contaminants we have at brownfield sites, also providing funds for cleaning up the sites. This site, um, over the years, we have spent probably in the neighborhood of $1.2 million since 2009. Uh, half of that has been paid for directly with grant funds from the federal government. Uh, the rest of it has been funded through a, uh, uh, through a low term uh, or long term low interest loan that is available through the state's brownfield program and a large part of the money that we borrowed to finish this project will be forgiven upon project completion. So a very, very small amount of local funds actually goes into this project. But we take what we have, we leverage it, leverage it with what the feds uh, have to offer us and we work with the state and we bring it all together. And why is it important for the county to clean up these old mill sites? Toxaway and Riverside, these mills here, are only two of several old mill sites in Anderson County, most of which are either in or around the Anderson city limits. Uh, I think that everybody who is from Anderson or has a, uh, a sense of Andrew, Anderson's history knows that this community was built on textiles, but like all good things, sometimes times just change and those jobs were no longer sustainable and the mills ended up closing. When they closed, they were ownership was transferred in most cases between several different entities until all useful value had been gotten out of the building or its contents. And then they were left to rot and fall into stages of disrepair. Having these sites in, uh, in a neighborhood most definitely, definitely has a negative impact on the quality of life for the people who live in that neighborhood. And we consider it part of our function here at Anderson County to come in, try to deal with these problems, um, and uh, help to spur a renewed sense of confidence and vitality to a community by taking away uh, such a sort of blight and, uh, and, and negative impacts. And what kind of things can this property be used for once it's cleaned up? Once it's cleaned up, it won't be, uh, we won't be in a position to where anything can go on the site. Because of the type of contamination here, uh, we would not be able, for instance, to do a, uh, uh, a single family residential subdivision here. In fact, uh, we might be able to do some limited multifamily uh, development on the site, uh, but that would be about it. We could, it could be used for commercial or industrial purposes, I think we at the county are reluctant 
to uh, have it convert to such use just because we want anything that goes here to be a complement to the community and won't become a problem that we're going to have to come deal with again 20, 30 years down the line. And some of it's being used as a nature conservatory already, right? Uh, the Rocky River Conservancy Group has, um, um, uh, as you know, has done some work at various sites along the Rocky River. We would love to work with them to find a way to incorporate what our future plans may be for this site into what they may have going on. Um, uh, what I foresee for the most immediate future for this site, the most important thing for me right now is to finish getting all this debris removed. When these gentlemen are done today, we will have removed over 7,000 tons of asbestos-containing material from the Toxway and the Riverside Mill sites. Uh, and once that's done, we will have a very nice piece of property here that's perfectly suitable for public, passive public recreational use. I think that uh, with a minimal investment, we could uh, incorporate some elements into a site design here that would make it a community uh, amenity that's available to all who want to come out and let the dogs run around or throw a frisbee or what have you. 